today we went over the guided notes to introduce parallel and perpendicular lines. So the first thing that we wrote was the formula for slope intercept and standard form right up at the top here. So y equals mx plus b is slope intercept form and ax plus by equals c is standard form. And we took the equation y plus 2 equals negative 3 parentheses x minus 5, which is point slope form. And we put it into slope intercept form, which we distributed the negative 3 to the x to get negative 3x. Negative 3 to the negative 5 gives us positive 15. And this is what we had right here. And then we subtracted 2 from both sides, and we got y equals negative 3x plus 13. And then we went ahead and we added 3x to both sides right here. And then that got you standard form, which is 3x plus y is 13. We talked about parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that never cross. And perpendicular lines are lines that cross to form right angles, which are 90 degrees. The symbol for parallel lines looks like two L's or the absolute value bars. Perpendicular line symbol is an upside down T. The slopes of parallel lines are the same. We graph these two down here. You can see that these slopes are the same and these lines won't touch. The slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals which if you look at the first one, which was y is negative 3x plus 8, the opposite of negative 3 is positive, and the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. And you'll notice that these two lines right here are perpendicular. You're going to create right angles down below. Then what we have to do next is we had to write equations in slope-intercept form for lines that pass through certain points. So one of the things that we did is we really liked this organizational tool right here. It sets up spots for you to write in the slope and to write in the parallel slope. It keeps you focused on what we need to do when you write our equation. So we notice we have y equals 2x minus 4. Your slopes are 2. And your parallel slope would be 2 because it's the same. We're going to use the point slope formula and then substitute the negative 3 and the 5. So we have y minus 5 equals 2 parentheses x plus 3. Remembering it's the opposite. So minus 3 becomes a positive. And then we distributed, added 5 to both sides. y is 2x plus 11. We could not graph the y equals 2x plus 11 here because we don't have enough space at the top of the graph. But we did practice y equals 2x minus 4, which is right here y equals 2x minus 4. Okay, down here we have another one. It's going through 4, 6. It's parallel to y equals 8. So the slope of y equals 8 is 0. Parallel slope's the same. The red line right here, this is our y equals 8. And then what we did in class was we actually plotted that point four six, which is right there where that x is. And then we talked about what does a line look like that's parallel to the y equals 8, which is up here. And it's just going to go straight through. And it's horizontal, and you'll notice it's at y equals 6. So if you just have to do a parallel line to a horizontal line, you're going to look for that y value. If it's a y equals. And then down here, we actually did the workout in point slope form. And we proved that it is going to give you the equation y equals 6. Now down in the last one, we noticed that it was in standard form. So we had to put it in slope-intercept form. Sorry, point-slope form. Sorry, no, slope-intercept form. It's been a long day. So we have 6y equals negative 3x plus 8. Divide everything by 6. And we end up getting y equals one half, negative 1 half x plus four thirds. And now we have the slope is the same, negative one half. And then 
we're going to take the 1, 1, substitute those values in, and we get the equation of the line parallel. We did not graph it because the y-intercepts were so, uh, so close to each other that it was just going to be really crammed in there, so we didn't graph them. Now the last one. Before we did any work, we talked about what we noticed. And we noticed that the point's going through 0, 7. And one of the guys said, well, wait a minute, that's the y-intercept. So if you think about when you're writing it in y equals mx plus b form, that is your y-intercept. So that's just 7. And in order for it to be parallel, the slope has to be the same. So go ahead and just look at this equation here. Do you see the slope? Slope's right there, three halves. That's it. All you had to do was find the slope, write it there, and then that is the y-intercept. And you didn't have to do any converting, you didn't know equations, just look at the information that's given. And this is where we stop for our notes. And then the homework was the front page of the attached sheet that's on Google Classroom. Tomorrow we will pick up with perpendicular lines.